This is a Normark EKA folding knife, 12C27, which is a razor blade steel. I'm going to be doing some experiments to figure out exactly what is the minimal edge geometry I need for the functional level of durability I want this knife to have. I'm going to set the hardest task that I want this knife to do without damage to be slicing small hard woods with relatively high force. So I'm going to start off with the minimal edge geometry. So I've flattened this knife on a stone so that the edge is at around 7 degrees per side. Now I'm going to use the Norton Economy to put on a 15 degree per side micro bevel. That's not the ideal finish for cutting hardwoods. It's too coarse, but it's a very good finish for slicing ropes, cardboard, and cutting harder plastics and been able to bite into them and retain very high edge retention. So that's the finish I'm going to be using in general. And now I want to check and make sure I got the right level of durability. So I start off at a profile which gives extreme cutting ability. Now I got to see if it has durability. Now this is something I've been experimenting with lately. After I get the micro bevel on, I'm relatively satisfied. I blot the stone, remove the oil, and just do a little bit of work to see if I can get the sharpness up one little tiny notch. Because what I figure here is if I remove the oil, I don't have any grit or swarf smashing into the apex and damaging it. So this should make the knife slightly sharper. I don't have enough data to show if it does anything yet, but it's relatively curious anyway, and it's interesting to experiment with. So this is a relatively coarse edge, 320, uh, 46 micron. So it should be able to do a 45 push cut on a horizontal and a 45 push cut on a vertical extremely easy. And it should be able to do a true 90 push cut really close to the point of hold. There you go. So that's decent enough to start with. So now I throw a couple of hundred hard slices into some uh, hardwood flooring and I move the knife around so I'm cutting not only on the thick parts of the flooring but on the edges as well. I'm moving it around on the grain and as you can notice there is some twisting and moving and sticking so this isn't the lightest kind of work. And I wanted to be able to do this and not have any visible edge damage or any damage to the apex. I just want slow wear and that will give me maximum edge retention on this type of work. And you want to throw a few hundred cuts into it because it takes some time to get all the random effects. Unfortunately, uh, there is some edge damage. The edge has rippled, been pushed to the side to a maximum thickness of around five thousandths. So the angle is too low, doesn't have the necessary strength to keep the edge bevel uh, in line. And there's a blow up, so you can see there's some twisting going on. Okay, cut off that damaged steel. And now I'm going to apply a secondary edge bevel of 10 degrees per side and it's going to be around three thousandths of an inch thick. You generally don't need to go to the full thickness of the damage that you saw in order to stop it. Somewhere between a half to three quarters usually does it. That's good. Then after that I go back and apply the micro bevel just like I did in the first part of it. And now I go back again and throw another couple of hundred passes on the hardwood into the knife and then see do I have the necessary durability yet. Again this is sped up. Check it much better. So now I only have one little tiny 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 glint uh, on the edge. It's right where my index finger is and I'll throw a blow up on the screen now in a minute. So I'm almost at the point where I have the necessary level of durability. That little tiny glint is the only damage. So now I repeat the whole process. I increase the edge bevel to 12 degrees per side. Then I put my micro bevel back on again and check the sharpness and then do the wood cutting all over again. So I wanted to be able to do a push cut, still 45, die, try, true, 90, come on, come on, come on, nope, that was on a bit of an angle, that doesn't count. I almost got it, you can do it, you can do it, channel a little bit of Stuart Smalley here, I believe in you, you can do it, you can do it, there you go. So I throw a uh, thousand cuts at uh, the knife again using the power of the Michael Jackson cotton glove. Still does a push cut on a 45. 
horizontally and vertically, see if we can get a true 90. No, it's not going to happen. Nope, no affirmation is going to make this happen. It's just going to dent it. So, 1,000 cuts, no damage to the edge, no damage to the apex, just slow wear. We can still do slices easy and still do whirly gigs. So this is where I'm going to leave the geometry of this knife.